Hi, my name is Mohamed Khurram Yusufzai and today we got the Suzuki Avery, so let's review it. So this is the car that was replaced for the Suzuki Bolan that is now discontinued and this car comes with a 660cc uh, that has an engine inside and seat that's right the engine is right below the seat so it stays warm it's a natural seat warmer and it's a really good car it produces 14 horsepower it can go up to speed in a highway it has a good sliding door that is light it can easily slide and it looks cute it's small and it works it has a radiator at the front it has all the goodies like the abs ebd immobilizer a remote for lock and unlock a headlight adjusting system and all that stuff all packed in a small car so they did a wonderful job japanese are good to uh, make a car compact and load them up with all the goodies no one does that like japan and all you can you can see it has the wipers it has a side mirror with a blind spot mirror and that's the side profile looks cute it looks good and this car was already being imported in pakistan but now it's being localized and you can get it in suzuki pakistan motors and uh, you can get it brand new with no mileage and you can drive it off and you can have a good car for your family in a cheap good economical way that you can use to travel your family to point a to point b this here you can see the bonnet it has the coolant this car is also known as the hijat and also every so you can call it every anything you want it's a key car and it used to be famous as a pickup truck as well this is a pickup truck converted into a van with a sliding door that is really fun and really compact it also has a separate wheel that is 13 inch all the rims are steel rims that's the back logo as you can see it says every it has a rear wiper and a nozzle where the water comes out it cleans all the dirt that can give you the rear visibility to see all those people that you left behind it also has a red led brake lamp but the lights at the bottom are all halogen this is the rear boot as you can see it has just two seats that are foldable and this is the carpet and as i put the carpet back it looks a little better and it's all rubber and it has a lot of space it has a lot of cup holders it has a shelf as well at the front that you can store more stuff at the roof and with a little fabrication you can put an extra row of seats at the back for more passengers so this car you can do anything you want is a it's a great platform and this is the underside of the car as you can see it has a differential it's a rear wheel drive it has a spare wheel that you can use and this is the interior i'm just opening the passenger side door and you can see the door panel it has a cup holder an option to put your bottles and power windows but it's not an auto on the passenger side but it is auto on the driver side it goes auto up and auto down and that's the interior that's it has a gear selector a manual gear five speed on the dashboard that you can change all the interior lights are orange and it looks good with the car that's all the 
dash lights this is how the dash looks like it has power steering you can move it around it has a tight turning radius it's good with the turning it's good for the city it's, it's meant for the city this car comes with two variants one is called the vx and this is the vxr this is the full variant and it comes with the air con, air con the base variant doesn't have an air conditioner but it has a heater this car also has a heater and the base variant vx variant doesn't have an fm radio it does not have handles at the passenger side and the driver side to hold on to it doesn't have speakers this car the full variant has two speakers and i tested them it sounded good they were workable you can listen to stuff in it and i tried the bluetooth it has bluetooth and it has usb but it doesn't have a screen but you're gonna enjoy all your tunes and it works great and i tried the gear it was a little clunky but it worked with a little use it can get smoother and this is the how you will operate the aircon and the thermostat and at the side of this dashboard there's an option to put more stuff some uh, play uh, like a little hanger that a max you can put a maximum weight of 2 kg on it and it also has a cigarette port and this is the multimedia as you can see uh, it looks good this is the dome light it's halogen it has a rear view mirror but there's no adjustment on it nor it is automatic these are sun visors there are no mirrors on it this is the passenger side airbag this is the club box this is the hanger i was talking about so it's a pretty good car at the front front is the way you should be and this is the seat the cushioning is all right and this is the speaker cover and a driver side cup holder that you put your drinks at the side of it and also in the front it has a lot of cup holders and this is the shelf at the front and this is the interior and this is the steering and it looks good and at the center of it a center console you can have a little more storage in it there's a little tray and as i went at the back of the car uh, I, tr I tried to open the door it was really smooth and really light and I could do it with a finger and this is, these are the seats at the back they are foldable and when I tried to uh, test the cushioning they weren't that good but they are good for the little short city trip and this is the handbrake I was testing it out it has all the hard plastics creamy nice plastics at the back there is no power windows they're manual that you have to wind them up and down and this is the lock and this is how you open and close the sliding door from the inside this van is all compact and good for the high traffic areas it's worth it for that and as you can see as i fold down the seats you can put a lot of storage in it I think you can put a guitar a lot of huge room and this is all the fuel cap and as you can see it's a quite a clean nice fuel cap and here we are the specifications all the nerdy stuff that you can look at and pause the video and see all the dimensions all the statistics all the numbers that you need to know about this car and if you want to buy this car So I hope this video was informative and good and please let me know in the comments if this car is worth it and if the VX is better or the VXR is better.
so thank you very much for uh, watching our video so please like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you goodbye